Butler and Kyle Lowry get a second shot at playing their way into the main draw. That'll happen on Friday night against the winner of the Raptors Bulls game tomorrow. This start and how it turned that way that they got out to 24 ahead so quickly. And number two, the rebounding. What was it like out there to have to endure that? Uh, we definitely got to start out better. That's um, That's been a problem of ours all year long. Um, and it's just... Uh, Another day that that's happened and rebounding was just horrendous. We didn't put uh, body on body, um, and they they got all the rebounds, all the second chance points, and um, that was the game. I agree. Kyle, can you just give us maybe a little more detail what it was like out there watching from the bench and seeing the guys fall behind, and then the way you came back and sparked them, and also just being on the court when it seemingly every time you guys made a good defensive stand. Boom, another chance. Uh, they did a great job of game planning. I think that's what they've been doing. But they've been doing it the last month when, since Quinn has been um, the coach. They've been just crashing the boards. I mean, think about it. They got Clint Giant. Uh, they got Clint Capella, John Collins, you know, Akan Wu, Sadiq Bey. They got, <clears throat> they got big guys. And um, honestly, it was like the ball was bouncing right to them. But at the same time, they were double crashing, triple crashing. And, um, you know, it, it was tough to be out there and, and not <laughs> – being, you know, 6'9", to, to, to try to grab a little bit more rebounds. But, um, you know, we have an opportunity to redeem ourselves Friday, and uh, I think we're, we're, we're looking forward to that. Jimmy, with how you guys have defended Trey in the past, why do you think you guys as a team were able to make him uncomfortable with the ball in his hands? I don't, I don't think we were as physical um, as we were supposed to be in, in making his decisions very hard. I mean, he's a hell of a player. He makes all the right reads. Um, obviously, he's a big-time shot maker. Um, and he even got uh, eight rebounds. So uh, I don't I don't think we took too much away from them tonight. You know, they got to the paint. They made threes. They offensive rebound, got to the free throw line. It just uh, was an overall bad game. Jimmy, you touched on it off the top about the you guys have had these slow starts, but how do you explain in a game like this where you knew you could win and be in the playoffs to have this kind of a game, especially start, and also what gives you the confidence that you can avoid that on Friday and close this out and make the postseason? I mean, as far as the confidence goes, we, we have to stay confident. We, we have to know that we are capable of winning if we still, uh, start out the right way and if we rebound, obviously. Um, but it's just, uh, I don't know, you know, shots don't go in, we don't, we don't defend, we foul. Uh, that's never the recipe for success with us. So come Friday, uh, we got to play like legit the exact opposite that we played tonight. The Hawks seem to load up the paint whenever Bam kind of rolls uh, to the basket. What, what kind of counters can you guys turn to to kind of still find ways to generate shots for him and looks? Probably, you know, swing the ball around, get it to our shooters, make them close out, um, have them play out of closeouts, and then find them while he's down there. I think that's the, the best way to give him the ball, maybe a little bit more in transition. Um, you know, drop a play to get him the ball in, in open space. There's a there's a lot of ways that we have to be better at as a unit, you know, out there on the floor with Bam. Uh, we will be come Friday, um, you know, watch some film and uh, figure it out as a team. Jimmy, what was Spoh's big message to the group after the game? Uh, I don't think there's there's too much to say. We, we knew... The game within the game was the rebounding, um, the fouling. Uh, we we knew why we lost. You know, it's, it's easily correctable, but you got to want to do it. You got to put bodies on bodies. You got to jump up and grab the ball um, and not foul. You know, play a little bit harder, play a lot a bit harder, actually, and um, come out with one on Friday. Kyle, you mentioned this week that you were ready for more minutes, more of a load. Is this uh, what you were feeling was coming on physically uh, throughout the season? Yeah, I mean, we did a good job of kind of managing the minutes of the last couple, the last month, and um, you know, we understood what <clears throat> what time of the year I wanted to be ready and going and, and firing, and um, you know, that's what it was tonight. Just trying to help the team win no matter what. Thank you. Guys. Thank you.